So in this question, we're given the transfer function of a linear time invariant system. And we're asked for the output if the input happens to be a unit impulse. So if the input happens to look like that. So what do we call the output when the input is an impulse? We call that the impulse response, H of t. So what we're after is the impulse response. And the easiest way to find that is to find the inverse Laplace transform of the transfer function H of s. So we need to find H of s in the, frequ in the time domain. So we need to convert that to the time domain. So we need the inverse Laplace transform. So we need to take H of s back to the time domain. We want the inverse Laplace transform. And the easiest way to do that is to use the inverse Laplace transform table or the Laplace transform table. And we should be looking for something that looks like s squared plus something in the denominator. So a number in the numerator and s squared plus something in the denominator. So the closest thing we have in the Laplace transform table is this where we have an s squared in the denominator, s squared plus something else squared. And that something else, b, in this case, will be 8. So if b is 8, what do we do about that? So we can rewrite this as 8 times eight over s squared plus eight squared. And now the resemblance is really clear. It's clear that that is that. And the inverse Laplace transform is simply sine bt. So we can say h of t equals sine b, which is eight times t. But then we've got this eight here that's multiplied by the sine, so that's 8 sine t. And for a causal signal, or for a causal system, because we're looking for the impulse response, we always multiply by a unit step. So our final answer is 8 sine 8t u of t. Now, if the question had asked for h of 2.1, for example, we simply multi uh, substitute t equals 2.1 in there. So obviously it would be there and there. So if the question asks for h of a particular point in time, we need to do that. But watch out, cases like this, because we've got a trigonometric function, the calculator has to be in radians. So the easiest, easiest way to get questions like this wrong is to calculate the sine in degrees.